In this video, I'm going to look at how to test for the ammonium ion. So in the bottle, I've got some ammonium chloride solution. And obviously contained within that is that NH4 plus ammonium ion. In the test tube, I've put a small amount of the ammonium chloride solution. And to that, I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide solution. So we'll do that and have a look at what happens. So, doesn't look like very much has happened, but there has been a reaction. And there's the equation for that reaction. So the ammonium ion has combined with the hydroxide ion and created ammonia and because ammonia is so soluble in water that's now as an aqueous solution and we've made some water as well. You can see I've lit a Bunsen now and that's because the next part of the test requires a source of heat because what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this test tube gently because I want to turn the ammonia into a gas. And then I'm going to use this indicator paper. So this is red litmus paper. But you could use universal indicator paper. I'm going to hold this in the mouth of the test tube and test the gas that comes off. So I'm just warming the contents of the test tube. We're trying to turn that ammonia that's dissolved into the water. We're trying to get that turned into a gas. And hopefully it will do something to this damp red litmus paper. I've finished heating now. I'll just show you the litmus paper now. So you can see there that it's going blue. And that's confirmation that ammonia was being produced by this heating of this solution. So ammonia is an alkaline gas and it turns red litmus paper or universal indicator paper blue.